Hey, you hear in Western Nevada County, you hear that noise of the jet noise where the, the, the throttle throttles up and then comes back to idle and then throttles up again and it's pretty loud and then comes back to idle. Well, uh, that's the U2s out of Beale. And here's the story with this throttle up procedure. It's part of their 18,000 foot checklist on their arrival back to Beale Air Force Base after every high flight. The U-2 is a funny, quirky, old-school aircraft. It's, you know, it's a uh, jet-powered glider, basically, with a bicycle landing gear. So when it lands, uh, it eventually is going to tip over on one wing like a glider. It's got inboard fuel tanks and outboard fuel tanks. And there's no fuel gauge to balance those fuel tanks. So the procedure to check to see if those fuel tanks are balanced at 18,000 feet on your approach, which typically starts... Mustang VOR, Reno, Nevada, comes right over here in Nevada City, California, and on into Beale Air Force Base at 18,000 feet, which is about right over my house here in Nevada City or Banner Mountain. They slow the aircraft to an approach to stall. As they slow the aircraft to the approach to stall, they can tell which wing is heavier than the other. In other words, which wing has more fuel in it. Because there's no gauge to tell them that information and it's critical information because when they land, they want that fuel perfectly balanced because the U-2 is hard enough to land on its own and keep it balanced on that bicycle landing gear. So they determine which wing is heavy. After a couple, a series of these stalls, they transfer fuel using fuel boost pumps to balance it just by taking a guess. And they stall it again. And every time they recover, they don't fully stall it. They approach to stall it. So it comes very close to a stall. Then they throttle up that power. <laughs> recover and balance the fuel so that's why you hear this this funny and often loud sounding jet noise on approach over nevada city by the u2 going into beale air force base at 18,000 feet here's the original analog gauges on the original u2 with the landscape periscope viewer in the middle and there is your single fuel gauge just kind of a fuel totalizer with no way of determining balance in the left and right wing. And here's the new Block 20 aircraft, I believe it is, with the updated avionics package. Here you are, fully suited up for a high flight. The office gets pretty tight. And here's a view from that office on a typical high flight.